Good morning from actually cool and overcast Chicago land. Everybody, I'm Chris Bates from Grower Talks Magazine, and we're on the grounds of Ball Horticultural Company, the gardens at Ball, and I'm with my buddy Mike Klopmeyer. Mike, you're the general manager of Darwin Perennials, and you got a little shindig going on out here in the gardens. Tell us about it. Yeah, Chris, we have a great day today. It's our Darwin Perennials Customer Day, the third annual one. Third annual? Yep. Although it's perennials, but it's annuals. It's the third annual. Uh, we've got about 250 people here today. Uh, great sessions of uh, in the morning of a number of tours of uh, uh, different stations we have here, including seed raised perennials, our new vegetative and TC raised introductions. We've got uh, a bare root demonstration. We've got mixed combos and perennials, which is a very interesting uh, way to look at uh, a retail uh, situation. And then, of course, we have our fantastic gardens here that were planted a year ago, and now they're truly showing their glory and uh, we're quite excited about how that turned out. Yeah, I think the, the demos are great, but people are here for the plants. Talk about a couple of the new varieties you think are gonna be the, uh, the hit of the show the for you. The new varieties that everybody really interested in uh, is uh, our new, uh, two new echinaceas. We have a new single flowered sombrero uh, lemon yellow and a new double scoop cranberry, which look awesome. And uh, we have some other great coreopsis and so forth uh, coming into flower right now. We also have ball ornamentals here. They're our ornamental flowering shrub company. Shrub people. Yeah. The shrub people. <laughs> and the perennial folks are quite interested in the shrubs as well. So we're, uh, we're quite excited how uh, the, the huge portfolio of products we have here that are considered perennials. Are you going to let them drift over to the annuals that are on the other side of the garden? Yeah, there? we'll let them come over for the annuals, but we got them here and the annual day certainly is the last Friday in July for our ball seed company. Uh, that'll really showcase the the annuals. How many people do you expect through on the third annual Darwin Perennial Day? We're hoping up to about 250 people here. We also have a couple other things for the first time. We have 26 suppliers to the Ball Seed Company for perennials and they have their own displays here showing their different products and product forms and kind of, kind of a little trade show sort of thing going trade on. Show, and there's a lot of interest for our customers to have a chance to see their suppliers and talk to them one-on-one -on -one, all in one location. Also this afternoon we will have uh, some talks and one of the talks will be by Jeff LaCourse our internal perennial perennial guru talking about how to grow and finish echinaceas and sonali from um, from Pan American Seed Keef talking about the use of plant growth regulators on perennials that's on the technical side on the retail side we have uh, Justin Hancock from Better Homes and Gardens one of the writers there who's going to be talking about retail trends and perennials and so forth so we've got it for the professional wholesale grower and also for the retailers everything they want to need and need to know about perennials everybody look who I found my buddy Noah Schwartz Garden State Growers and he's a former young grower of the year well, that must have been a long time ago, Nora. <laughs> no, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Yeah. So, what brings you to, to uh, Darwin Perennial Day? Well, you know, I've, I've been here a few years, and uh, as the gardens are evolving, I think every year it's great to come back and see how the perennials have sized up. And uh, you know, we're also I'm here to bring back some new information to some of the buyers or some of the larger retailers in the country. Have you had a chance to look at some of the varieties yet? Any of them stick out at you? Um, you know, there's a, a sedum that looks really promising. We've actually trialed it for a few years from Darwin uh, called Frosty Fire. It's, uh, it's very stable, um, variegated. So I think it's something you could ship early as well as later in the season. You know? and, and, and what do you think? You come to Ball, but you're up here in this like trade show area of all these other companies. What do you think about that? Well, you know, since Ball is a, is a major supplier, there's a lot of uh, friends that we have up here that, you know, we, we buy material uh, through Ball. And um, it's great that we're able to do that. We get a lot of support from Ball. Um, so I may have, you know, as a, as a grower, we may have personal relationships with these folks, but at the end of the day, you know, a lot of the business is, is done through ball. Things going good at Garden State? They are. You have, a, you have a good spring? We had a great March and April. Um, May and June were a little up and down, um, but, you know, it, it's looking uh, like right now we're, we're, we're harvesting and it's hard to find color. There you go. All right, Noah Schwartz, everybody. Good to see you out here, buddy. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Look, everybody's got the smartphone out, taking pictures. You know that's actually a telephone, Devon? Yes, it is. It is. It's a, it's a full-blown communication tool. <laughs> Devon Friesian from Van Bell Nursery, way up in uh, B.C., right? That's right, yeah. So what brings you down here? You know what? We're, uh, we work as a supplier for Ball Ornamentals, 
And we're all... Yeah, you notice the, the fancy yellow exhibitor name badge here. That means you're in one of those cool little tents over there, right? Yeah, we're, we're uh, showing off some of the, the great new varieties that, that Ball is uh, putting out to market. And we're also looking for ideas. We also sell a lot of perennials in our market. So I'm looking for new ideas all the time. And you were admiring this particular echinacea right here, Pixie Meadowbride. What do you like about it? You know, what I like about it is that, you know, great form, great flowers, and it's, it's a lot more compact than a lot of the traditional echinaceas. So you can get that in bloom, put it on a rack. It looks great. I tell you, everybody's hanging out around these echinaceas. They love the colors, the kind of the, the habit. Yeah, yeah, a lot of great new colors as well. You know, a lot of the, you know, beyond the pinks, you've got the... Um, kind of the deep purples and uh, oranges and, and so, yeah, creates a great mix on a rack. Is Dave Van Bell your boss? Uh, yes, he is. Uh, yes, he uh, is. Anything you want to say to Dave who's working the tent right now <laughs> while Devon's out here playing? You know what, Dave, keep working it. We need it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Devon. Here it is live from Darwin Perennial Day at the Gardens at Ball. Thanks, Chris. Wow, it's too bad you're not here because by the time you see this, it'll be over and you won't be able to, like, get here. But next year, next fourth year. annual. You got a date set yet? Fourth year, and no, we don't have the date set yet. It'll be somewhere around the middle of June. So. Hey, mark June on your calendar. Just circle it on come to Chicago. Fourth annual Darwin Perennial Day. We're going to finish looking at the third annual Darwin Absolutely. Perennial Day. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thank you, Mike.